Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving my response to an interesting question, and that is what records I would save in an emergency. First of all, this video idea is not mine. This was inspired by Melinda Murphy. She recently posted a video about this topic, so it's her idea. Melinda showed off her irreplaceable records, which ones she would save in an emergency, and I thought that was a really interesting idea, a really interesting topic, so I wanted to share mine as well. As far as emergencies would go and natural disasters and stuff like that, here in the Midwest, our biggest threat, I would say, are tornadoes. 99% of the time, at least here, we do have a tornado warning, so in an emergency, like a tornado, I would have time to go grab some of my records and save them. And these are in no particular order. I guess I'll start with a seven inch vinyl. So this one is the song The Only Way Is Up by Martin Garrix and Tiesto. I would save this because I figure it's pretty easy to just grab a small seven inch vinyl. I haven't seen this online anywhere. I've checked eBay and Discogs and Amazon and, and places like that and I have not been able to find another copy of this. So I know these exist somewhere, but if something were to happen to this, it would probably be really really hard for me to replace it and find another one. I'm also not sure if something were to happen to this if it would increase in price and I love this song so much. While doing research for this video I was not able to find another copy anywhere, not on eBay, Discogs, Amazon, any reselling place like that. I just cannot find another copy. Next up is the soundtrack to Tenet. This movie was directed by Christopher Nolan and the score is done by Ludwig Göransson. Goransson. I think it's Goransson. Anyways, I originally was not going to grab this. When I thought of records I would save, this honestly did not pop into my head until I did some research on this video and seeing what this copy was going for. I thought it was pretty common. I thought I would be able to find another copy super easy, but it turns out this record, at least on Discogs and on eBay, has gone up in value, gone up in price. I probably paid about $40 for this, and now it's going for at least $100, which really surprised me. I did not think it was going to increase in price like that because of the price increase on this. It's definitely something I would grab and save because then if I would need to get another copy, I would be spending double, maybe even triple what I paid for it. And it is one of my favorite soundtracks. It's one of my favorite Christopher Nolan movies. So I really love it. And for that, I think it's really, really valuable. To go along with that is Inception, another Christopher Nolan movie. The score was composed by Hans Zimmer. So Inception is definitely one I would save. And again, it's not one that I immediately thought of when and I was thinking of records that are irreplaceable to me. I figured I would be able to replace this pretty easily for not that much money, but I have noticed, at least on Discogs, well, especially on Discogs, the price has definitely fluctuated a lot in the past couple of years. But when I bought it, it was on eBay for about $30. It was really, really affordable, I think. And this is a repress. It's not even the original. But then I checked on Discogs again when I was researching for this video, and it looks like the price is back up to, I think it was maybe around $100 or so it was definitely double or triple what I paid for it so again it's another record that I was really surprised to see had gone up in price and in value I'm not sure if it will go back down but just in case I would definitely grab this in an emergency just so that I wouldn't have to pay a lot to replace it you know but I do really love the soundtrack I love the vinyl too this one is on clear vinyl so it's definitely something I, I like a lot this one is another unexpected one it's another one where I did not immediately think of this this is the song Find You by Zed. Matthew Coma and Miriam Bryant are also on the song, so it is a collab. This is a 12-inch single. It was originally from Record Store Day. It's a Record Store Day release. I really, really like this song, so it is something I probably would save, but again, it's one of those where the price has really gone up. For some reason, this record is going for about, I think, $80, so it would be really, really expensive for me to replace. I paid a normal price for this. It was probably maybe about $25, not very expensive at all. I really love Zed. I love this song, so it, it would definitely be something worth saving. Next up is an album by Five Seconds of Summer. This album is called Calm, and this is the plus one edition. So this one does have a bonus song, part of the deluxe edition from Calm. There is one bonus song. It's called Kill My Time, and this is on the pink color. I love this color so much. I would definitely definitely want to save it. It's one of my favorite colored pressings in my collection and I love this album a lot and I love the bonus song as well, Kill My Time. I just realized it does match my shirt today. <laughs> this one is one that I have noticed throughout the few years that I've had it. 
um, the value and the price has gone up. I got it from their merch store. I probably paid $30 to $40 for it. And now on eBay and Discogs, it is going for upwards of $100. So it is kind of rare, I would say now, especially because it does have the bonus song. It's definitely more valuable than the standard vinyl. And I love Kill My Time. It's one of my favorite Five Sauce songs. So this is definitely something I've thought of when thinking of records I would save in an emergency. This would definitely cost me a lot of money to replace. This is definitely something I thought of almost immediately um, as to what records I would save. This album is by The Chainsmokers. It's called Memories Do Not Open. And this is, as far as I know, it is the standard pressing, which was on this gold translucent kind of vinyl. Pretty soon after I bought this record, the value went up a lot. So I got it from the Barnes & Noble website. I paid about $30, $35 for it. And then not long after that, it sold out and and at least on Discogs and eBay, it's going for a couple hundred dollars, which is kind of crazy to me. Some of these records I really bought just at the right time before they sold out. This one definitely means a lot to me. This album is very, very nostalgic. There are a few songs on here that are really, really big from the Chainsmokers, like Paris and something just like this. And those songs are so nostalgic to me. I remember hearing them like in school and just listening to them when they were super popular on the radio, you know, around the time they came out. Those were some of the first songs I ever heard from the Chainsmokers, so those songs kind of made me a fan of the Chainsmokers. I just have a lot of good memories surrounding these songs. The next one I would save is the album USB by Fred again. This is USB volume one. And the reason why I would save this, well, there's two reasons. One is because this is the most expensive record I've ever bought. I paid $70 for this after shipping and tax so it's definitely something I invested a lot of money in. It was so worth it though because I love this album. It's just like my favorite body of work from Fred again, my favorite um, genres and style from Fred again. I like his club music a lot. I definitely would not want to lose this. I'm pretty sure it is sold out now. I'm sure it's not being pressed anymore because it's gone from Fred again's website. I have seen it on a few places like Amazon and eBay, but sometimes it's not always reliable. Like, I don't know if it will sell out or increase in price on eBay and Amazon. I'm not sure how the price is going to fluctuate online. On Discogs, it looks like it has gone down a little bit. It is going for for a little bit less than what I paid for it, which kind of makes me mad, honestly. But just in case, and just because of how much money I spent on it, it's something I would keep for sure. Next up is the album Try Hard by the band Camino. I love this album so much. It's one of my favorite albums in my entire collection. Yeah, this one I spent, um, I think 20 to $30 on it. It was not expensive at all. And this is the standard pressing of the album. So I got this on the merch store from the band Camino and it's on this orange vinyl. The orange vinyl pressing, which is the original release of this, it is now sold out. They did repress it onto white vinyl, but the orange one is the most valuable, I would say. It's been really hard for me to find a copy of the orange one to reference the price. And this has been selling and going for one to $200 on eBay and Discogs, which is absolutely insane. It's literally like four times the price of what I paid for it. So because of its value now, it's definitely something that I would save. And then also because it's one of my favorite um, albums, well, technically it is an EP. It is one of my favorite records. I love the band Camino so much. These have some of the very first songs I I ever heard from the band. It's my favorite project from the band Camino. Last but not least, this one is definitely not replaceable in my opinion. There are copies that exist out there, but if you want to replace it, it's going to cost you anywhere from like one to five hundred dollars. This is a live album by Five Seconds of Summer. It's called Meet You There Tour Live. So obviously it's a live version of their tour, their live album from their 2018 Meet You There tour. I originally bought it for $60 on eBay. Even though I got this record for free, long story short, it got lost in the mail for two years and I didn't think anything of it. And then one day, two years later, it showed up at my door. It's one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me. By then I had already gotten a refund from eBay and the case was closed. So technically I did get it for free. So I'm not really looking to like make money with this, but it's not even about the money really, even though it it is worth like up to $500 now. So that's why it is really rare and valuable and something I would save just because of how much it's worth now. But I really, really do love this live album. It's the only live album in my entire collection and I love it so much. Even though I didn't go to this tour, it's still from my favorite Five Sauce era. It's from my favorite Five Sauce album, Young Blood. I'm sure if you're a Five Sauce fan, you know the value of this. It's one of the most sought after Five Sauce records ever. This was a really interesting topic to me. You know, some records 
mean a lot to me in terms of the music and how I value that but then price is a whole nother thing. Some records are really really expensive and worth more in terms of price so it was really interesting to find that balance between how much I like a record and how much I paid for it versus what it's going for now versus what it could go for if I ever needed to replace it. Record collectors including myself do invest a lot of money into our collections so it would be really really sad if something were to happen to our records and then we lose out on a lot of money but not only that we do lose out on the music and the records themselves so again um, all credit goes to Melinda Murphy you guys should check out her video on this this was all her idea I just wanted to share mine in the comments let me know your guys's records that you would save in an emergency what records do you guys think are your most irreplaceable valuable records thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye